Rachel Lindsay, the DFW attorney, which is generic, but that's what it says, uh, and the Bachelorette on ABC's 13th season of The Bachelorette. So we work with all those shelters and all the children from all of those shelters are invited to the camp. We serve about 350 a summer for that, for those two weeks of camp. We uh, follow up basically by the year round with women that have been sex, sex trafficked. Um, we do with, uh, not, we work with 911 traffic, so a lot of those women come to us. We work with um, Family Gateway, where the family member has been abused, and so we have a lot of more. How else can you go and basically hug a stranger, cheer, cry, whether it's a loss or a win? So at Julie Park, we really want to offer that to our kids in our program, where they can make long-lasting relationships. Now, basically, through programs like Learn to Golf, that's how you get a guy with no hands standing in front of you today, who's confident, who can speak for himself, who graduates from high school at the age of 16, finishes college at 20, gets a master's degree at 23. Wow. And the first is critical family, uh, critical care services, cribs, mattresses, blankets, things they need to, be, to, to help take care of them. The second will be to give them the opportunity to be a part of extra... So tomorrow I have Rachel Lindsay's engagement party. I don't know if you guys know her. She was like the bachelorette, whatever. And I know it's like her day, but like I want to look good. So I. Paradise. Copper. views guys copper <laughs> hey guys I am having an engagement party and I am collaborating with Vow to Be Chic. So make sure you follow me on my Instagram, but also follow on people's Instagram because we are taking over. Mood for the entire weekend. All your dreams can come true with you. Vow to be chic. Bam! Boom! Got it! Got it! Oh look! Rollers! <laughs> hey Alex! Nope. Hey! Hey! Now it's getting hot. I know it is getting hot. Just a little behind the scenes.
That's gonna be my next one. But I don't know. I need your number because um, I really like to be Copper wants to move to California. <laughs> there he is. Oh, you know. A little IG story. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. The Robin. It's not my fault, Rachel. Ladies and gentlemen. The wall boom on three. One, two, three. Y'all, is this real life? This is where we're staying tonight. Oh my gosh, yes, guys, that is the Pacific Ocean. Just wait. exist simply to prove you wrong about me. There, there, are, are, there days. are days when I exist simply to prove you wrong about me. Woof. Yeah, I yeah, like that. That's good, right? Woofington. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so I just wanted we, to we. say thanks. I don't care how many fish there are.
up my Vina loves, it's Miss Vina D coming to you all from Vina Entertainment News. I know you guys miss me, I miss all of you as well. So most of you who have been here for a little bit are aware that I do have businesses outside of YouTube that you know I upload sometimes three to four, to four uploads a day or even if I don't do that, I definitely will post at least one video a day. But when I completely just disappear like this, it's probably because I'm handling my businesses outside of YouTube, not because, you know, I'm just taking a break. And that's nothing wrong with taking a break, but that's what I was doing. I was handling business outside of YouTube. But I'm here and I have an amazing episode for all of you. Now, I'm sure some of you have seen these images and videos and everything going around social media. Media because yes our girl and you know her man <laughs> Richard and Brian um, had another engagement party it looked like this one was film for the network I completely understand the network waiting a little bit because think about it you know you go ahead and you know you this couple have this amazing moment on TV. You take them on all of these lavish vacations, plan all of the dates, even purchase watches, purchase the engagement ring and the show, you know, do all of these amazing things. And then the show end and in a few weeks or months, you know, the couples are done. Sometimes they don't even make it for the live final, you know, episode after, after the rose and all of that. Sometimes the couples come on and they're already broken up, you know, and all of that. So I completely understand ABC saying, you know what? We've already spent all this money. Let's give it a few months and see if Brian and Rachel are going to last, if they're still together. And if they are, then we'll go ahead and throw our engagement party and also film it, you know? So for those of you who are confused, yes, Brian and Rachel did have an engagement party in Texas. So you saw that and then they left and went to visit and had a little get together for the family in Houston. So first it was Dallas, the engagement party in Dallas. Then they went to Houston to the family who they claim who cannot be on TV. So they went to Houston and had fun there. Then they left and went to Miami and had an open pool party where, you know, people could come to and have fun. And that's where this infamous picture that people talked about a lot and this uh, this was a screenshot from a video that I posted of Virgin and Brian dancing so it was that and then after this public moment the two of them also had a private engagement party with just you know Brian family and this engagement party happened at Brian's home his mother's home you know his mother and father home so they've had all of these engagement parties so people were like really they still have an engagement party I was also like another one another one <laughs> DJ Khaled but um, it makes sense that ABC decided you know what we're gonna throw them a lavish engagement party um, I saw cameras there so it looked like it was probably film so we might be seeing that along with their televised wedding special we shall see but Rachel and Bri Rachel look gorgeous as usual Brian also looked you know dapper and they had an amazing time you know I had friends there you know people from the show was there even Dean was there and when Dean posted this picture to his uh, Instagram page people were saying oh you remember when uh, Rachel and Brian visited Dean podcast and some of you were saying oh you know I, I said, for one, Dean is smart as far as saying, you know what, the show is over, the little theme I have is about to probably die down, what else can I do to keep myself in the mix? Well, he was perfect and smart enough. He, I mean, he made a perfect decision and smart enough to do the whole, you know, podcasting, especially the title of the podcast because he, you know, he's had issues with relationships and things like that. So, so that was great. And then he went ahead and had Richard and Brian on there, which was one of his highest rated, you know, episodes, of course, ever. And on that episode, he apologized to, you know, Brian and Richard because I've shown these images again and again of you know Dean and Peter being very close and all of that so you know he apologized because he was looking out for his friend he was looking out for himself 
and he was also looking out for his friend, the other guy, you know, because he was in his feelings, so he didn't say, he said some not so pleasant things about Brian and Rachel. But see, when you are an adult, you're mature, you're in love, you've moved on, you're happy, there's no place to be holding grudges and doing all of, you know, those things. So that's why Brian and Rachel can move on and be like, sure, come to our engagement party. I mean, Iggy have not been too pleasant to them. A lot of people, but they were like, we don't care, you know, come and celebrate with us and see our love, see how amazing, you know, other things we have going on. We're not trying to prove, you know, anything to anybody, but you know, this is real. We are in love. We are enjoying each other and you know, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> this is going to continue. So, you know, come, come down. You're in LA, come down, enjoy, you know, our celebration. Speaking of Iggy, in one of the interviews, you know, this is what Iggy had you to say about um, Brian and Rachel. He said, uh, there were a couple of things that I noticed, like Brian was grabbing the back of Rachel's dress if it was dragging, or he would go get her another drink. Um, if he continued, for the first time, I was like, holy bleep, they are a real, real couple. It was the craziest thing. And then he continued, it was very intimate, and they were really happy to have some time with their friends that they were trying to get in touch with for a while. It makes them happy. Again, it was so surpri surprising to see them as a couple in real life, but they were holding hands and he was holding her drink, pushing her hair out of her face. It was adorable. While Boom, of course, and Lucas was there as well. And he also reciprocated what Aki was saying and he told the publication that um, at the Us Weekly interview that I'm going to read about in a few seconds, the party was very exclusive and nothing, and noting that both Brian and Rachel were great. So, you know, it's nice to see people coming around. It's so easy to judge from the outside looking in without giving people a fair chance. And most people are like, you know, some people who don't really follow Brian and Rachel joining, but just jump on different social media sites and hate on them. When they saw the picture of Rachel and Dean, they were like, what happened? Is she still with Brian? And it was just this big mess, but I'm not going to get into it. Maybe in a bonus episode, I might dive into what people were saying, but... When it comes to Brian and Rachel and I'm doing their episode, I focus on their love and all of that. Now, before I go too deeply into this whole engagement party and the interviews and all of that, I do want to start from the beginning where you saw Brian and Rachel at an interview at the Tom Joyner studio. So probably in a bonus episode, I will... Um, talk about the interview, what was said and all of that. I don't, I want to focus on the engagement party in this episode and the write-ups and things like that. So I don't want to, you know, be all over the place. So maybe in a bonus episode, I will talk about that interview. But as you saw, you saw, you know, images and little clips from the, the studio there. And of course, there's never an episode or a day that go by that Rachel does not use her platform to do something amazing, you know, to give back. And that's why they will continue to be blessed because they're not taking this opportunity lightly. Like, look, man, we have been given this platform. We are forever celebrities, forever, you know, people will know and remember our name. And it's true. And so instead of just going to these parties, having fun, and all of that is amazing, but let us not forget that people really do need help. And so whenever Rachel have the chance and Brian, they always, you know, donate their time and use their platform to give back. So you saw a lot of videos from the little, you know, charity event and all of that. You saw videos from there. And then, of course, we moved on to the engagement party. You know, there are little other videos here and there that I did not include in the last episodes. But then we'll go ahead and move on into the engagement party where I also talked about a lot of their friends being there and all of that. So, you know, congratulations to Brian and Rachel again. I'm going to go ahead and dive into this article that the Daily Mail wrote, and I'm going to read it exactly how they wrote it. Because you know, sometimes when Brian and Rachel are in articles, it's all over the place. So I'm going to read um, what the Daily, Daily Mail wrote and how I guess they view them. So 
It started with she found her she found her she me mini Rachel she found her very own Prince Charming when she said yes to fiance Brian Abasolo in the final episode of The Bachelorette and Rachel Lindsay and her chiropractor beau celebrated the engagement party by throwing a lavish party at a beachside residence in Malibu California on Thursday. The Dallas-based lawyer turned reality star 32 looked incredible as she slipped into a brighter inspired white gown for her special moment. So I'm glad that Daily Mail, even though she was on The Bachelor and The Bachelorette, that they acknowledge, you know, her educational background. So kudos to them for that and also acknowledging Brian educational background and not just as reality TV stars. So you know, our own people, yes, I'm going to throw it in there. BET couldn't even do that. So, <laughs> no shade. Move it on. Let's just keep going and keep the episode positive. So, um, the, the uh, article continue. Rachel and Brian, 37, his age, of course, made a toast to their romance while surrounded by family and friends. The attorney styled her hair in cascading curls while highlighting her face with the perfect glow. Beside her husband-to-be, Brian was typically dapper, wearing a purple shirt with a well-tailored suit and casual stubble across his jaw. The pair toasted to their union with a silver bottle of champagne, first popping a bottle of bubbly and then sharing a kiss. Okay, I'm including these images from their Snapchat and from other people, not Snapchat, in Insta story, Instagram story, and their other friends that were there. If you want to see more images taken by photographers, visit the dailymail.com. I do not want to include the images in here because I do not want, you know, my hard work and an amazing episode being taken down a block because these were photographers coming back and saying, oh, copyright strike. She didn't get approval for those images. So go to the website if you want to see more images. But for the most part, most of these images, um, people took with their actual phones that were there and posted it on Insta Story. And that those are the images that you will see here as I talk about this. On the article continuing, um, a fluffy boom mics could be seen hovering, meaning the moment was surely captured for ABC cameras. The crowd was filled with alums of both The Bachelor and The Bachelorette. Rachel's former suitors, Dean, of course, and then they, they call Lucas, Lucas Waboom Yancey. Lucas, I don't care what anybody said, but Lucas, Yes, he was very smart marketing his Waboom. It was funny, it was crazy, but he knew exactly why he was there and it worked, okay? Because you can say Lucas and people might say who, and then you say Waboom and like, oh, that guy. So that's the thing. Even people who were further into the season, moved further into the season, we don't even know who they are, but just say Waboom and you're like, oh yeah, that guy, Lucas. So. Good job, Lucas, on that part. And his spirit is just so genuine and whatever. He just have this don't care attitude. And so, yes, he was definitely invited. So, uh, Lucas Waboom Yancey cheered on the happy couple while her season 21 bachelor peers, of course, Alexis, they call Alexis Shark Girl, Alexis Shark Girl Waters, and uh, Dominique we're also seeing seen snapping social media uh, images with a huge smile. They continue, while Rachel appeared ready to be the blushing bride, the powerful persona reveals she and Brian are been planning on the most traditional union while chatting with us weekly at the party. I'm going to read the article and continue. So the Daily Mail included some, you know, parts from the out the Us Weekly article. I'm going to read it, then I'm going to go to Us Weekly and then read everything they wrote. Um, I know I don't want to wear a dress. I rather wear a suit. And this is Rachel explaining, and we've heard this before. Uh, Rachel described the exact cut she wanted, saying, "I want a high waisted pant, maybe like satin silk. Might be a little too much." And a little too much. She said what she want is she wanted to go down. She said, I want a wide leg pants. So even though she's wearing a pantsuit, she wants the leg wide and flowy. So it'll still look like a dress, but it's a pantsuit because she wants to be, you know, unique and different. She said, I want maybe like a lacy top, very sexy, and then a blazer, but maybe with shoulder pads that that's just very sexy. Um, 
Thursday celebration marked the third public engagement party for the couple who first celebrated in Rachel's hometown of Dallas, Texas, and then later in Brian's Miami, Florida territory back in August. I already talked about this when I was, you know, talking before, before the, you know, Daily Mail article. So, you know, most people are saying, oh, a, a pencil, if that's what she wants to wear, that's what she's going to wear. But of course, Rachel had more to say about it. So let's move on now to the Us Weekly um, article. And so in Us Weekly article, it started with, um, surprise, when Rachel Lindsay marries Brian Apostolo, she won't be wearing a wedding gown. The former bacheloress told Us Weekly in an exclusive interview about the suit she plans to rock down the aisle. I know I don't want to wear a dress. I'd rather wear a suit. This is the, this is what uh, the Daily Mail copied from Us Weekly. But, you know, some things are a little different in here, so I'm just going to read it. And if it sounds repetitive, and just skip it and move on to the next part of the video <laughs> um they were at a vow to be chic event engagement party in la on thursday um rachel said i want a high-waisted okay so this is exactly what she says so i'm not going to read that part i'm just going to move on down and continue she said perhaps uh she will rock the celeb favorite tuxedo without a shirt trend for her wedding day she said although um her fiance brian is all for her tying the knot in the tux brian don't care okay Brian wanted Rachel. Brian got Rachel. Brian is happy. He is not living a mediocre life. Rachel is not living a mediocre life from those videos and everything. You can see that they're living an amazing life. Yes, guys, I did not say uh, the best life because in as much as I appreciate that, it's kind of overkill at this point. So <laughs> I'm not going to use it that much. But there's something about certain people okay you have people who they make history all of that yes she was the first black woman to make it to what you know all the way as far as she did on next season then she was the first black woman to be the bachelor bachelor red yeah she made history and all of that due to you know her background and all of that but regardless of all of that if rachel didn't have the presence that she had she would have you know disappeared a long time ago and it's like what is rachel doing but when you just have that it factor that when you walk in the room it's just just oh my gosh who's that without you even trying that's why she's not going nowhere and that's why their life would never be mediocre and they're living an amazing life. You guys love long episodes, so this one is going to be long because I'm already talking for over 18 minutes and the videos were way over that. So, um, yeah, enjoy the, the long episode. So, I'm going to go ahead and continue into the Us Weekly article because they wrote more. I'm also going to include the links below for you guys to click and go ahead and read these articles yourself. You know, because sometimes when I get into the video, I'll be talking so fast and then with my accent, it's like, what did she say? <laughs> So you can click the link and read the articles, you know, yourself. Um, so uh, Rachel said that she also think that she won like a messy bun. She said, which is actually what I had at the proposal, but it was so windy that it turned into this <laughs> tosso mess. She said, I think I would do some sort of messy bun or maybe an updo because you don't get to see that. She explained she wants to pull the hair away from her face and then with makeup, I think I'll go softer, you know, try to look as innocent as possible we already know what happened on her engagement day the wind was just crazy uh, Rachel continuing she says she hasn't decided on a location yet but revealed is considering a destination wedding in South America and this is the first time I'm actually saying this someone said the other day what about having a wedding in Colombia and actually that's a tut that we are thinking about right now she shared no matter where the nuptials take place Rachel knows it will be one big party I just know I want everyone to have an amazing time I want good music good vibes a lot of family and friends around and just I just want it to be a big reunion uh, Rachel well us quickly continue the third 32 year old got engaged to Abasillo 37 on the season 13 finale of The Bachelorette with a hundred thousand dollars Neil Lane ring. We can't wait to see her wedding suit. So, congratulations to Brian and Rachel again. 
I'm wishing them nothing but the best. Guys, I'm going to have more coming. This is not it because, you know, you saw them at the Jingle Ball and all of these different things going on and Demi Lovato, Taylor Swift. I mean, all of those videos were self-explanatory. Um, my system just kind of went off a little bit. So if you heard the clicking, I was <laughs> logging back in to continue the video but you know it looked like they're having an amazing time they are really enjoying each other and i'm just happy for them you know i'm happy for everything that they have going on and i'm wishing brian and rachel nothing but the best in life there's going to be like i said i'm sounding repetitive but it's going to be more i'm going to have either one or two bonus episodes this one is already pushing it so you know i'm going to go ahead and and be quiet now okay <laughs> my vina loves uh thank you all for the support the love go ahead and leave a thumbs up on this video uh, turn on your notifications so when i post you know that i posted also subscribe to the channel and leave a comment you know i love every single one of you we have some major things coming next year i have some major announcements to make you know i i can't wait to just continue to grow and expand with all of you i'm wishing you all an amazing day and remember to always have the god bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation have a great day guys god bless